Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. This quick guitar trick is on tapped harmonics. You can see them in action up in the top right hand corner if you want some context. Basically, the idea here is the same as natural harmonics. So you know the ones you get on the 12th, 7th and 5th frets? Well, we can get those by tapping the fret wire rather than playing it. So all I'm doing here is trying to hit pretty much directly above the fret wire. Experiment with how much force you need because depending on your action, your setup, your pickups, it might be a lighter touch, it might be a slightly heavier one. Uh, in terms of distance, these harmonics will always appear a uh, fourth away from the root, a fifth away from the root, the root being an open D string, and an octave above. And that's in terms of the distance. In terms of the notes, you get the pitch they create. You get an octave, you get a fifth, and you get a second octave. So they're basically doing these notes here. A little bit tricky to get your head around, but to be honest, that's more of a side note than anything else. Now you can put on some overdrive and compression, or tilt your wah pedal forward to boost the treble, to make these harmonics a little more prominent. It sounds pretty awesome with both high and low gain, but initially you might want to crank it a bit and put some more treble in until you get a hang of the technique. So I've just shown you them on the open string there, but what we can do is kind of use our left hand in effect a bit like a capo. So say we hold down the third fret here on the D string, uh, rather than tapping the 12th, the 7th and the 5th, I just move everything up the same amount. So while the octave was here, now it's on the third fret, so I go up to the 15th for the octave, I go to the 10th for the 5th, and it's the 8th for the 2nd octave. So hopefully you can see there, all I took was the harmonic thing we had here, and I just moved it up, uh, what that be, 3 frets to get here. Now I mean there are harmonics all over the fretboard, so if you just kind of tap the string, you can hear all the kind of little, it's the same idea as the ray gun effect, so they are everywhere just to let you know, but I'm sticking with these ones initially just because they're a bit easier to begin with. I mean there's even notes beyond the fretboard, so these are actually in the same places as pinch harmonics, and essentially the same idea but of a very different tombro. So there I'm kind of bending up, and where I think the pinch is roughly here, instead of pinching it, I'm just putting my finger really lightly on the string. And these are quite difficult to do because you don't have the same fret markings you do with the, the kind of traditional tapped harmonics. <laughs> But it's the same sort of principle. Sometimes I'll flick at the harmonics rather than tap them, and this seems to be a bit more consistent for me anyway. So you could try that, and rather than tapping it, I'm just kind of flicking above the fret wire. So if you apply that to a scale with a tiny bit of bending, you can get something like this. Get this kind of cool Southeast Asian kind of vibe. As well as applying them to scales, we can do this to chords as well. So even something simple like a G major bar chord, we can just go an octave above. with the other harmonics we looked at as well. Not quite as easy as getting the sound of the octave above though. Final idea I'm going to look at here is playing a chord in one hit like this. So what I'm doing is just fretting an open A major, and I'm tapping the 14th fret on the G, B and uh, D strings. Uh, there's a few ways to try this. You could try getting it with your middle finger. So I'm just hitting above the fret wire there. You could try it with uh, all three fingers. But what I tend to do, I used to play with the pick in between these fingers, so out of force a habit, I tend to rotate my first finger on its side and do that. Uh, the most common one is, is doing that, but I've never found it incredibly comfortable, so I tend to do that instead. If you want some more context, there's a Steve Vai song called Die to Live that uses this exact same idea. It goes like this. And a little bit slower for you. Right, so to recap everything, you tap above the fret wire, you use the notes that are fourth or fifth or an octave away from the root are going to be the easiest ones to get initially, but there are harmonics all over the string, including beyond the fretboard. You can use them on scales, you can use them on chords. You could play the chords in one go, like we did with the Vi thing, or you could arpeggiate them like we did with the G major. What I would suggest you do is you take these ideas, run with them, expand upon them, and see what awesome ideas you can come up with yourself. Cool, so as always, I really hope this video has been useful for you guys, both speedy and informative, that you've learned a cool, quick trick to bust out, have a good idea of how to use it, and also work it into your own craft. If that has been the case, you've taken something away, a bit of information, want to support the channel, please do consider to share, like, comment, and subscribe, if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.